Right now we're at York St. Mary's in the final leg of the installation for the Aesthetica Art Prize 2014. Aesthetica magazine was founded in 2003 by myself and Dale Donnelly when we were both students at York St. John University. The idea was to start an art and culture publication that explored new artists, how contemporary artwork engages with our lives. Fast forward 11 years, the magazine is now distributed throughout the UK. It's exported to 20 countries. One of the things that we realized, thinking back to the roots of why we started the publication, was that it was really important for us to continue to support emerging artists and talent. And we have eight artists who are exhibiting, and then a further 92 we show their work on monitors in the gallery space. This year's exhibition, I think the works are very much reflecting very big subjects that they tackle from concrete reality versus online, the endangerment of bees, so it's looking at you know, the environment and ecological systems, looking at people's perceptions of different cultures, playing with form. And so I think what we've done is we've built on the foundations laid last year for the Aesthetica Art Prize. Sybil Neumeyer is an installation artist based in Germany. Her piece, Song for the Last Queen, is incredibly powerful. It's about the endangerment and the extinction of bees, which is a very hot topic at the moment. We need to think about how bees play such a huge role in our ecosystem and what the consequences that we would all, regardless of location, nationality, the entire world at large, the consequences that that would play on our ecosystem if those bees were to no longer exist. Elka Finkenor is a New Zealand-based artist. Her piece is called Draw a Line Somewhere. It's a soft drawing. It questions the notion of what drawing can actually be. And I think playing with that idea has a very interesting result, which you will see as you visit the space. Life File by Amedio Abello and Federico Morando. This is a really interesting piece. It's displayed over eight light boxes. So it's called Life File. The words are an anagram of each other and what it really discusses is the opposition of life in concrete reality and life on the internet. The two are merging together and it's a piece that kind of explores the digital nature of our lives, the urbanness of it all, and how society is moving at such an expedient rate. Julia Weissenberg is a video artist from Germany. Her piece is called There Is No Real Way of Knowing. Now it's a wonderful title because it actually, right from the get-go, draws you in. She refers to it as doing artistic research. She read an article in an Icelandic newspaper that said there was a discovery of a 5,300-year-old tree. This would be 500 years older than the oldest known tree. So Julia went on a trip to Iceland to discover and this film is about the process of discovery and doing research, much like a scientist might do research. There's a hypothesis, and then you try to prove or disprove that hypothesis, and the film uncovers that. Ines Molina Navea is a Chilean artist. Her piece, 541 Dias, or Days, is a photographic piece that actually presents a very interesting context um, in the way the portraits are framed, the subjects within them, and she's deconstructing Cartier-Bresson's idea of the decisive moment. So as you engage with these pieces, you are free to draw your own conclusions. There's so many different directions that you can go with them. Deb Koval is a British painter. She is interrogating form, and she's doing it in such a clever way. So she's using sculptural practices, but through acrylic paint. What she does is she captivates the imagination by these beautiful, delicate pieces that peel away the layers of paint, but actually become like a solid form in their own right. 
Harriet Lewis is a British-based artist. Her piece, Frustum, is a hybrid between a sculpture and a musical instrument. Uh, it's a beautiful piece of work. This theme of challenging form is coming in and it's interactive and it's a piece that actually invites you to become part of it because you can play it. Ingrid Hu is a London-based artist. Now her work, Long Player, is part of a project which is on permanent display in London at the Lighthouse. It was originally commissioned by Art Angel. It's a really interesting piece because it's formed as part of a project that will see these bowls that will be singing and playing for 1,000 years. That is something that is really difficult to imagine because that plays with history, it plays with memory, it plays with society. It's taking our idea of time and stretching it to its limits. We're really hoping that when visitors come into York St. Mary's, they have the opportunity to spend time here, to spend time with the works, to engage with topics that, you know, maybe they hadn't thought about that day or maybe they hadn't thought about in a long time. We want people to have conversations. We want a dialogue, a debate, a discussion. So we really hope that when visitors have the opportunity to enjoy, engage with the works, and hopefully be inspired.